welcome to the first spotlight of the Mad Aaron server. We're going to be taking a look around some of the faction's bases, some of their creations, and see exactly what they've been working on. So this is the Brackets faction, Brackets with a dash in the middle. You can see they originally made kind of this soccer stadium on top of this mountain and then they've reinforced it with these really cool giant rocket turrets so the rockets are hidden behind there and they are extremely well protected so there is i believe three turrets and then a fourth one possibly under construction at this very moment in time you can see how it's rotating itself into position after it's been welded up and you can see they've got the vehicles stored in these little protective hangars here there's not a load of vehicles and it's quite nice to see but they've got just enough to serve the purpose of doing some raids and doing a little bit of combat also down here it looks like they're doing some welding and maintenance you can see one of the players working on here and they're building up this drill type rover resources are a little bit hard on this one so let's have a look what they've got as well they have got 99 cents five pack they have underwear for sale by the look of it <laughs> anyway let's continue on to the next location but before we go let's just have a quick look if there's anything underground that might be worth having a look at work safe and wear black underwear Okay, so this is just the black underwear crew, I'm guessing. So yeah, that's what they've got. They've got some wheels under there to also add us a little protection in case uh, rovers do impact and try to pass through. Very cool indeed, but there isn't too much underground and that will definitely aid with performance. So let's continue going through our grids. So we've got all these dash grids here. Let's see who's next in line. So we've got DBS. So heading over to DBS. DBS are another large faction. Let's go and find one that's uh, not in pieces at the bottom of a some sort of valley so if we go to the dbs luther dog now the luther dog monument has been stolen back by dbs and we're going to run a little bit of an event on it we're just gonna have to make sure everything loads up in the area there's a lot of voxel deformation in this area and you'll see the facility actually pop in so this is what it looks like um, kind of before they got started and then we have it popping in and we'll see what they have done after so, of course, they've built this large perimeter wall. They haven't got giant turrets on the perimeter like the last one. They've got some smaller ones like this. But this is really to kind of prevent rovers from jumping over the top. They're not coming out online. That's why the, the shield is up. But you can see DBS have a lot of surplus rovers going around here. You've got welding, drilling. You've got various different attack rovers like this. You can see there is one there. You've got some other smaller ones tucked in there. You've got these various different little outposts and chill out areas along the side it's a very big outpost and you don't get the scale of it until you really kind of get on the ground and just look around we've obviously got a cube of uh, an aaron ricardo rotating there and then we head down into the dbs garage with uh, a few of these offset little areas as well so there is a lot of small rovers in here and as we come down to this lower area we have the lower hangar where they have dug it out and attempting to store some of their smaller rovers down here. Well, they're not the smaller, some of the larger ones, I do mean. But they've got quite a lot of rovers. They're quite a big faction, though, at the same time. So that is the DBS facility. Quite cool. It's seen a few changes. There's also these little cool little side hangar off. Hold on. Have they left a projector on? Why they're offline? It looks like they have. We're going to have to deal with this. We might, we might have to delete this whole section of this platform for that. Right. Anyway, we'll continue on. So, away from DBS, back into our menu. We've already checked out Dash. We've got DBS here. We're going to try to go through as many as possible. So, we've got EDT. EDT, I've not heard too much about. So, EDT look like they are attempting to build a small facility in here. Mostly unconstructed blocks at the moment. It looks like they are hard at work trying to change that, though. And they've got some welders there. So, this looks like an elevator that takes them up into this second segment. We'll have to see how they develop this base as it continues on so let's continue scrolling down being gentle not to miss anything we've got fps so this is 137 block count so this is not another big outpost this could be another small solo player starting out we have got of course gog with a larger one so let's actually have a look here so this is a base that's upside down at the moment so the entrance is over here very cool indeed looks like they've got like a little hanger that lowers possibly the rovers down oh no this is just like a little drop pit and i'm guessing this is some sort of hangar mechanism here let's have a look yeah so this is hangar reinforced blast door very cool and it leads into a cool little base like that there is some cool rovers in this one you've got these mini ones here you've got these ones here as little attack rovers and you've also got this large truck it reminds me of one of them um us military hemet trucks if you know what i'm talking about and of course this leads down into this deeper part of the facility 
where they're attempting to drill out this tunnel by the look of it. Yep, there we go. Another drill. More voxels. More performance. And they've got a, a few little cryopods here. This is a cute little cryopod room, isn't it? I like this. You have to let me know what you think of this one in the comments below. We've got the little names in front of it. Very cool indeed. And then we'll pop into this back door. And we've got what looks like to be a little warehouse and production. A really nice laid out basis. Really cool. Some really nice little details. It's complete with a few little turrets to keep people away. And up onto the second floor, we have everything else. Another nice, smaller faction base there. So let's continue scrolling through. So as we go past, we're going past Dio. Uh, we've got we've got the GOG outpost here. Let's have a look what Pricey Punk has been up to. So GOG have got themselves a rover. I was actually helping these guys out the other night. They had rolled the rover over, and I, I was showing them how to use the mass blocks to lean it to one side so they could get the rover back on its wheels and it looks like they've done that now i believe this base has been under attack recently and they were attempting to move out of the location but still very cool there's even a back little passage entrance there a nice little outpost let's see if we can see any other parts of it i know some of you guys are always like aaron you're exposing people's bases to drill drillers and stuff but the stuff on that server we tend to have a lot of respect for the players and if some we're doing something that they don't like they voice their concern and usually a coalition will form up and that player will be quickly um, ousted or beaten up by, by the coalition, so to say. Let's um, let's continue on. So we have after that GOG base, we have the LAP. There's a lot of factions doing some work. What are the LAP doing? That is the question. So we're inside the LAP base. We've got various rovers leading there. We've got a production. We've got storage. We've got a warning sign in here. So this is the battery storage. A nice idea because oil and petrol can be hard to achieve. And then they've got themselves a giant ramp door on the top of there. And it looks like they've got a lot to build up there as well. Very, very cool indeed. So, let's continue on. So, we've seen quite a few of the smaller factions. We've got a few more smaller ones to go through. So, let's have a quick look at NDR. So, this is the NDR rat's nest. Let's see how small it is. It's quite a large grid by the count. So you can see there's some voxel deformation as the grid's starting to load in here. I felt like something started to pop in then. We have got... Have we got two bubbles? Ooh, another server rule violation. We'll have to be back here afterwards and sort this out. With players who break the rules like this, we, just, we tend to have a, a strict sort of no messing around policy and end up having to delete the grids. So we have got ourselves a base under here. It looks like it's been under attack. Or maybe even rebuilt. No, it's been rebuilt. We've got welding. We've got some transport rovers around here. We've got a welding area there. And we've got a little funky looking corridor that leads to probably where they're sleeping and having a nap. Oh, this is quite a long corridor, isn't it? Where does this lead? So as we come around here, we've got even more corridor. It's going to be a, lab a labyrinth. This place could look attacking it once your rovers are down. And it leads into these little cute little rooms locker rooms battery storage yeah these guys are really gone ham let's have a quick nosy through the the back end. and of course then they've got their uh, refineries back there and so on very cool indeed nice little underground outpost so let's continue on through our tour we're trying to cover as much as possible in this one so past that we've got swi now we know swi builds some crazy stuff we've got stone we've got shade i believe we've got some others um, I can't remember all the names. There's so many people playing at the moment. And let's have a look at what we've got going on here around the SWI facility. So we've got, we've got a drilling ship there. We've got a cool little house structure. I'm guessing this might be Stone Lord's house. Complete with a cool little rover with some machine guns. Disco lighting. Everyone needs that in their little hideout. We've got the large rover there. We've got a cool facility starting to take shape over here. This definitely looks like one of Shay's designs. Because Shay always tends to go with the, the mutant sort of animal takeover effect on the rovers. You can see the eyes down the middle there as well. And then over here we've got another part of the facility. I like how they staggered these solar panels. And is that a grinder pit or a, no, it's a drop-off pit that. Very cool indeed. So up here we've got some more observation areas. We've got a large turret. Look at that. That's going to have some real nice firepower power into the area. Oh, it looks like one of the players has been working in this area. Is that Shay? Yeah, it is. There we go. So Shay's actually working on, I think this is like a piston welding machine. And they're putting up some sort of wall here. This wall's complete with a cool interior corridor. This is very modern-esque. I like the feel of this wall. Um, it's just a debate is if the rovers can jump over it. You've got to build it high enough to prevent them from doing so. Let's have a look on the inside here, see if there's anything to it. So it's a reinforced wall, very nice. 
Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna hold up well against some blasts. Get some more turrets on this, and SWI will be able to hold this territory quite nicely. Let's um have a look behind the scenes here and just have a quick look what we're working with. Oh, here we go. This is what I wanted to have a look at. So this is leading into the SWI base. Oh, look at that. That's a really cool way of doing a corridor there. Takes a bit of calculating with the glass, and oh, it's all underground. It's all done like this. That's lovely. Coming down into a car container, and this just keeps on going. I would not want to walk all the way around here. I tell you that. Yeah, you're gonna get you're gonna get lost going down here. So we've got refineries, production. Yeah, this place. Oh, this place is beautiful. I'm wondering if this is a uh, blueprinted in and then dug out or whatnot. But it's been it's really nicely crafted that underground section. But no underground rover storage though, so everything's above ground. A little risky, but at the same time, you know, if you've got the defenses to do so and you've only got so many players, then rovers are gonna be manned anyway. So let's continue going. So from SWI, we want to make sure we don't overlook anyone here. We've got top. Right, so and this is a 46 grid, so this is a quite a small one. Yeah, it's just a wrecked wheel. That's what you get sometimes. You know why we've got why we're we going past it. Let's let's remove it. Um, that, that's what we want to do. We don't we don't want to leave waste and junk in the in the wasteland for too long. So NDA SWI, let's have a look at TRT. TRT hover. Okay, so this is this is some of Fizz's creations by the look of it. So they've got themselves another small little outpost base. To, to survive as a small player, you do have to hide and pick your enemies very wisely. So yeah, this is a small facility with a ladder leading up to the top and solar completing it as well. Sometimes we miss out these smaller facilities in the tours usually. But since we're trying to cover any, everything today, we're going into full detail. So we've got TSL. So this is another small looking grid. Another starter little grid going on here. This is a base being dug out by a player quite a labyrinth starting as well the only issue with a, a base like this is you can't really do much with it you can stuff your you know your, res, your resources down there um, but then you're still going to spend most of your time above the surface and it looks like what's happened here is this one has filled itself in because he hasn't had enough support on the top entrance so this base is probably going to be either forgotten about or removed depending on what happens with the situation but yeah you, you need support or else th these walls and these catacombs will fall down on you. Uh, right, let's continue going. So scrolling through our list once again, we're coming across, let's just make sure we haven't missed anyone. No, we haven't. TSL, we've got TVK. And when when TVK comes to my mind, the first person I think of is, is Stroytov. He, he's gonna be yelling at me probably in the comment section below saying I've missed something or I've not covered part of his base properly. Um, we, we know he likes to have a yap. Right, so here's the TVK base. We've got two large rovers out front looking very nice it looks like they're actually at home at the moment there's no bubble around they've got this cool go away they've got a rover here that looks like it's been turned into a static very cool so that's a drill that's a rover taking shape with missile launchers in the front cool let's have a look let's go inside behind the door there's also a little turret station here i like the idea of that so as we go in we've got like a platform that looks like it's is it an elevator or a little bit of a mini lift and this continues going through the back into the airlock. Well protected, nice corridor. And then we've got their inner hangar. So inside their hangar, they've got a collection of small rovers by the look of it. We've got a little woofing from my dog downstairs too. And there we go. So that is the TVK base. A few little departments. Some of them having their own types of areas to store their craft. So you can see tech. And I believe that one is rails or a lingo. So he's only got one rover stored over there. And you can see different areas with different weird and wacky creations. Oh, look, someone's building away in this section as well. Very cool indeed. And then we've got someone building away over here. Zers is working hard on each of these rovers. Very nice indeed. Let's continue on through here. And I think this is just kind of a dead end to the base, unless it just leads down. Oh, yeah. It looks like they've stopped developing. We, we had a chat with all the players. Look at that. That is a complex if I've ever seen one underneath there. Right, so let's continue on. Back to our admin menu and back past the the TVK crew. We've got ATS. So this looks like another smaller faction. Oh, there's, there's, a, there's a large ATS base. That could be interesting to have a look at. God, you can hear him giving it a good howl. There must be someone out there doing something that he doesn't like. Um, let's have a look. Oh, so this is the outpost with the really cool opening door. So underneath this door, there's an elevator and a lift. But let's have a look at the upper buildings. So we've got a drill here that raises and lowers on its side. You can see it's on a hinge there. 
you've got the two buildings for refinery and then you've got the base in here oh hold on we might be able to get a preview of the ramp something's going on here so they are loading one of the rovers onto it and i believe they set the timer blocks up now correctly so when this raises up it does go through the ceiling we'll have to see so they're heading over here is there a panel is there a button he needs to press there's some welding going on under here as well a bit, a bit concerned about they're trying to set it up so it works again. They've, they've had a few problems with this door from what I've heard going around the server. And another worry that I'm worried about is that getting caught on that catwalk there and the whole thing flips upside down. It's a, it's a, it's a little big for this ramp. They, they're pushing it, aren't they? Come on, let's, let's see this thing go up. Come on, the audience want to see it. I'm sure they're probably experimenting around with it and testing it out. So coming down into the base while that's going on, we've got a smaller little storage down there. And it looks like someone's been working on maybe a battery bay. They haven't raised that rover up just yet. Down here, we've got some production. Everything going in this nice tan color to blend in with the desert. And we've got a grinder pit there at the back. So a more compact base. These guys have been working hard, though, especially on this door and ramp segment. Go on, let's let's lift this ramp. We want to see. I'm tempted just to pop in and press the button, even though that might cause some carnage. Oh, should we do it? Or should we misbehave? Let, let's, let's ask him. Tech. Press the button. I want to see the elevator work. Come on. Tech. Right, okay, we, we press it. We're, come on, press the button. Yes. Come on, press the button. Come on, press the button. Please. Ascend. Oh, no, the timer block started. Oh, the door's opening. That's the first part. Okay, so the first part is happening. The door is opening up. Oh, there we go. It's caught up. So this is all part of the timer system there that I've heard they may have even crushed a rover if they weren't careful. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. They've got it stuck. <laughs> Come on, guys. This is this is the big preview. You, you, you miss it out. I think it's that back wheel. I think, I, think, I think the back wheel, but I'm a bit worried that they might have broken the timer sequence now and they'll send this up and it'll just crush it. This is the thing, when, when I do these, I always try to do them impromptu and don't let the players know the exact time of it, so that w w when we get them to activate stuff, it, you know, it can go a little bit wrong as well. So, are they going to give it one more shot for us? Maybe not. Should we, should we leave? We'll, we'll leave them to it while we're having a scroll through the menu, and if they manage to get it moving in the background, then we'll watch it go up. So, we've gone through all these guys, we've gone through TVK, we're over at ATS at the moment. Let's check out COA. So COA, what have they been up to? So here's the COA outpost above the surface. So they've got themselves like a little gas station set up. They've got themselves a basic drilling ship. Uh, it says gu guzzoline and ammo. So it's maybe a little trading post. Very cool indeed. Not too much there to show. But we'll continue working our way through. So we've been to DBS already. So we don't need to see them again. We've not seen Fed just yet. Oh, we've not seen DMX. Let's have a quick look at DMX. So there's not much going on at DMX, though. That's why I don't think I'm going to visit there just yet. So there's a turret. Oh, there's a little bit of an outpost going in the background. Let's 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 skip that one and let's head to Fed. Now, Fed are another one of the larger factions. So we'll see just how much they have done. So we're going to be waiting for that original space engineer's popping time. The issue when I'm also turning around the server like this is slowly it pushes my RAM up as well, my RAM usage. So this is the Fed base. There's a lot going on here. We've got some of these smaller rovers over here that look like for drilling, mining. We've got another ship or a rover taking place there. You can see how they've inserted the welders to keep the wheels going. It's a good idea there. And they've got one that looks like a plane without wings over in this section. Let's have a look at the underground part of the facility. We're going to do this. So we can see a little bit better. So they've got a large rover area that's over to their production. Very nice. Nice clean production area. Very cool indeed. There's a lot of guys. A lot of batteries, of course, to charge this place. Because a lot of people are struggling to find oil. And if they're struggling to find oil, it means that they're going to have to rely on solar or wind power. And you can see they've got a lot of wind power up here as well. So there is the Fed's base. What's this little thing over here? This looks interesting. Is this some sort of turret mechanism perhaps looks like it's got gatling guns there and gatling guns on the bottom it could be a protected turret we can have a quick look inside 
Oh, wow, this is a cool room, isn't it? Yeah, so maybe this is like a control center for that particular turret. Nice idea there. Let's, we'll have to see how it works in a battle. You can see we've got the decoy blocks around the side as well. So we're going to go past Fed and see what's next in our list. We, we're running out of people to slowly go through. We've got uh, we've got LDR. Well, let's have a see what LDR are actually up to. We've got Bulldozer. We've got the floor. I'm, I'm feeling like I'm going to accidentally cover some factions again here because I'm going to obviously forget what's going on. So let's have a quick look into the LDR facility. So they are mostly underground. Another trapdoor type elevator. Blue Rover on the surface. Nice. And then that elevator, I'm guessing, goes down and accesses the various parts of the facility. So we've got a hell of a load of little rovers from LDR here. And we've got even more tucked in there. Let's have a look at this machine. Oh, look at that cool little truck design. That's that's definitely equipped for the wasteland. Let's have a look at these other hangars. So we've got refinery production over there. We've got a magnetic lock and sleeping quarters over in this section. Very nice, cool little layout. This is a corridor that leads around the side to the hangar bay. Yeah, not a cool little base, that one. It's definitely a smaller faction, but they've they've not skimped on, you know, a cool design, most definitely. So let's continue going. So we've got LDR. Let's have a quick look at Lex. Only small one, this one. Yep, so we've, we've been there. Let's have a look at LNC. See how LNC are doing. We might have been here as well. They've got some a few different parts left around. Let's check out LNC's home base out, and then we'll definitely know if we've been there or not. So that is a larger grid. Player persistence tier two. Okay, come on, come on, load in for us. It might load in faster. Um, yeah, let's have a look. So it looks like we've got a beginning of a base structure there. We've got like a little house in LNC territory leads up into this hallway let's try to be as quick and as efficient as possible covering this lots of small rovers tucked in here it looks like they're still developing this area so there's salty's garage with a few rovers tucked up into various positions very nice indeed it's nice to see that these guys have raised some of the rovers off the ground as well that, that they you know are not in use and they've got a little trap door there that seals up behind it but they haven't closed it at the moment in time and i guess Maybe they've just printed that large rover off. Let's have one final tuck on the inside to see if we've missed anything. No, another smaller faction base with lots of little things going on inside it. So, let's try not to miss anyone. And we've gone through that. Let's have a look at Nod. What are Nod up to? Now, Nod usually have quite a large facility. And by the amount of grids they have, I'm guessing they're going to have quite a bit going on. So, you can see they are in between these large canyon type bits. And this is what it would look like if their base wasn't here. And we're just waiting for it to pop in. So here we go. So here is the Nod's base. So Nod actually stole some of the monuments, I believe, at the beginning. So they've got two little hangars tucked away on the outside there. They've managed to incorporate the lighthouse that they stole into their perimeter wall. Very cool indeed. And they've built some other little walls along the side here. And these walls actually have access with turret stations throughout. We've got some rovers going on here. This is a drilling rover. What's this one? Is this one with like a turret that's being built perhaps at the front? Or maybe like a, an animal looking one. They've got the original Burger King here full of memes. You've got to have a, a meme room somewhere, haven't you? They've got the airport they've stolen. I think these guys have just gone around the map stealing the monuments. So they've got the airport build in the terminal and they've jacked it up and managed to drive it off. Another wall over there. Let's have a look what's in this hangar. So this is an entrance to an underground part of the facility. So this underground leads us into here. They've got a grinder pit. And they've also got a welding pit in this section. Let's have a look if there's any other underground areas here. So the underground area continues going to another underground area. <laughs> that's green and stored down here. Yes, multiple layers of underground parts of the facility going on there. Very fun indeed, even though it's probably not the best for the performance. And you can see they've got a little gate below in this area. Cool little truck there. Probably stolen from one of the side quests. Very nice indeed. I like these towers that they built along the perimeter wall as well. These are certainly cool little bits of design. Let's continue on. It's going to be it's going to be a long one, this one, because we're pretty much covering everything. Minus a few of the small ones. So, we have got SGC. We've got RAB to have a look at. We've got still a load. So, looking past Nod, let's go to... The OJC guys. I think we've been over and seen Commander Mallard before. Okay, so these are smaller parts. We have got PSD. OB Spawn Zone. Well, we don't really want to have a look at that. He's one of the admins. 
we have got also RAB. So let's have a look at the RAB stuff. The RAB stuff's usually pretty good. I just want to make sure that we don't end up on one of the little parts. You can see what they've hollowed out here under the ground. That's a large area underground they've hollowed up. So this is what it'd look like without any voxels, without any parts added to the terrain. And as it starts to load into this area, we'll see it fill up with the RAB's base. So let's have a look right here. We'll get probably a little bit of a freeze going on, unless it just decides not to load. Come on. Yes, there we go. There we go. We've got RAB's facility loaded in there nicely. We've got some little rovers down the side, a large one with a turret sort of design on top there. We've got a tank type rover parts up at the front. Let's continue working through a little uh, car with like a flag type design on it. Very cool. We've got the bathroom over there. We've got the bedroom. So this is where they stack in their rovers up. Is that one? That's like a mass rover stack there attached by rotors. A dangerous, dangerous game there. We'll have to actually we'll have to check if that exceeds some of the limits. Uh, we'll check that a little bit later on. See what happens. We've got the bathroom going into this area that is like a little bit of an access room that leads down into this section where there's a lounge with some ginormous turrets around the lounge there and we've got the production down here all color coded color coded production is a great way of producing and knowing what you have built and what sectors are for doing what we've also got a side door here that takes us through there let's have a little cut underground a little cheeky one and see some of the parts of the facility that we've missed so we've got the side access here leads us into this nice little hangar very modern aesthetic in here with this wonky rover in the side and then we've got ourselves a tunnel that leads all the way up to the upper area so there's a lot of little things going on here you can see we've got the upper areas more rovers stored around it's always interesting to see how many faction members they have prepared to um, you know how many rovers they have and i believe i be another one of the larger factions oh look at that that's like a, a skull printing process a very mad Aaron style and then over this side we have got what looks to be the start of maybe a turret array oh, oh a minefield damn it i've exposed the minefield oops and anyway people know i've been able to expose stuff as i go around so a very cool little outpost from rab let's continue on oh my voice i'm gonna need a drink after this so we've got rab we've got rsb we've got mr spice we know mr spice likes to run it solo and we're going to see how much this one-man army has managed to complete. So this is the RSB current base currently. So you can see he's got a lot of, a lot of welding still to do. But as we enter into this facility, we've got his main welding vehicle. He likes to build a lot of his vehicles in a very traditional manner. So you can see how it's got that old-school sort of truck vibe at the front. I do like the look of that. He's got a little mining vehicle he's been using to scrape out the ceiling. And he's got a few of these cool little buildings and he's got, of course, little signs out there for his citizens who would work in this place most likely. Another little suit room. That's just really nice. The cool little details going on. He's got production going around the side. He's got a corridor that he started to hollow out leading into the back there. Let's have a little bit of a cut through the wall. Obviously, another little golden med bay. A really nice area, especially for a solo. It, is, it can be really hard to build loads of stuff like that. Hopefully, he finishes this project. He's got a few weeks left and he's got a lot more to be building so this looks like a little turret pillar type room he's got enough defenses to help himself he'll just have to make sure he, he picks his alliances very carefully that's well that, that you know that's probably the same with a lot of factions you've got to make sure that you pick your alliances wisely so past rab we've got rsb that we've just visited and we've got rtr now rtr is an interesting one because rtr originally took over luther town there is a few moderators and admins in rtr um, and you'll see that Luther Town is here within the bubble. Now, that is a single bubble, just making sure, because it looked like it was two for a second. And this is what they've managed to do to Luther Town. They've built a number of turrets. They've dug out this giant canyon around the side. I did have a bit of a moan at them for, for the voxel damage. And they've also built a big gate to Luther Town. And they've done it in the classic RTR style that we saw on Mad Aaron many, many seasons ago. Coming into the buildings, they've got an RTR skyscraper. They've got the garage that we saw when we were spying on players. So there's a little tractor, a few other vehicles in there. Very cool indeed. And then a giant tower. There we go, the Trinity Tower. That's what they've called it. Have they decorated interior floors? Not quite yet. I guess they don't really need to because I would just add to the block count. Is there anything particularly special on roof? No, they've got like a little tower from there it's very cool you can look across the horizon and see battles happening around this outpost we've of course got one of their mining welding type rigs on the side there 
we've got some of their smaller vehicles that they've been working on and this was originally their trench digging vehicle but i believe that they're going to repurpose that for something else but a really cool little outpost i like these little bunkers you can see sealed in here they've not got great sight lines but at least they'll protect the turrets and you can see some of the original buildings here that were made by some of the moderators when we started the map so we've got just an rtr tower over there as well very cool indeed let us continue on on this extremely long server tour so we've got sgc because sgc will never let me be let's have a look what they're up to and usually the size of their base will determine how long it takes me to load in oh there we go it's popped in so sgc have got something interesting going on it looks like they've got some sort of drawbridge type design here they've been building a helicopter a little mini helicopter over cool little concept and it looks like these guys are definitely online so coming into this hangar it looks like maybe one of them is busy printing something one of them's got a large rover under work there and this little platform's cool it crosses the canyon below that i really like the idea of and comes into this other section here we've got more drilling ships we've got actually one of the players there and you can see it leads down this corridor to various different stations for them to park extra rovers and a little grindy grind pit at the bottom there so if we have a look underneath this place there is quite a labyrinth and i believe there was even more of a labyrinth i have turned on a bit more of a, an intense trash removal to try to get rid of some of the extra um, voxel deformation but another really cool base there I've, I, you'll have to let me know in the comment section is which one you've seen is your favorites but you have to wait for the end because there's still still plenty to go uh, so sgc we've seen past them have we seen sve sve is only a small one yep small faction like i said let's keep working we've got wmc now is this a, a mr oh no that's not doing too well i think that's at the bottom of a gully somewhere i think they'll be at the bottom of a gully as well we've got ancient vessel these are comrades little terrain pieces he butts in we get apathy as well we've got um bha another small little outpost there we've obviously got some of the bridges and stuff that we put in for events we have got the czd checky base another smallish looking outpost by the seams of it yep small one on the top of the hill oh this is cool so someone's been actually reminded here you can see that little sign there that you need to name your grids it's something that the admins try to do to give guys a chance before we delete them so dmx we've been over there let's have a little bit of a look for everything else so these are event pipelines fps factions i think we've covered everything we've not looked oh no we've not looked at the the hor base have we? we've not had a look at knights of stuff as well i feel i don't want to miss anything i always have this horrible feeling oh let's have a look hor base oh look at this oh they've built a nice bridge as well let's have a look underground so nothing underground but they've started to build a facility on top of here. very nice concrete style construction i do like the concrete block so let's scroll back down to hor i'm trying my best not to miss anything guys here uh, we've got isf this is a larger base as well oh that's a cool little mini compound we've got the hq and we've got the base that's attached to it let's have a look lnc we've been over here i believe yeah we've been over and seen salty stuff um nbs let's double check that we've been over to nbs because i don't think we have been let's make sure everything is fine and dandy no we've not been over to nbs so i'm gonna let this area load so this is another point between some canyons a lot of players have picked these areas to build because it's just harder for the rovers to break into so you can see over here at the MBS base, they've got their main rover with all their refineries and bits of equipment on it. It looks like they've static grid it for the moment. But you can see this is a, another labyrinth of stuff. It looks like they've got a projector running. They're online though, so I'm not going to punish them for it. They've scrapped down one of the other rovers here, so one of them could have been under an attack. And it looks like they've also got some DBS rovers in here from possibly an attack the other night. Interesting. So definitely there has been some battling going on here as well as some salvaging and taking of other people's equipment it also looks like they're starting to weld up or print something else out over here yeah some some destructions happened we've got a perimeter wall over here a little wrecked rover but more importantly we've got this really cool base wall sort of gate defense so when knights was building this he was telling me he wanted a small gate over this side and a large gate for the big rover so if it's just a small rover coming in he doesn't have to weaken the defenses and raise um or raise or lower both up on the top here we did have a bridge the other night but it looks like it's been blown off sadly in the in the event but yeah the bridge stretched across here to this point here it was it was nicely detailed oh it's sad to see it go 
And then they've got a little facility up there on the top, as well as extra production, extra exciting things, as well as a smaller bunker down here below, storing a few of their cooler looking rovers. That's a classic one. We've seen that one quite a long time, the tow truck. Very nice indeed. Woo, this one is getting long, this video. Right, so we have seen MBS, we've seen all these guys. Uh, NDA, let's let's just have a look and make sure we've actually seen this because I don't want to miss anything out here. I've got a big list here of places to visit and I'm, I'm trying to tick them off while I'm talking, while I'm, I'm losing track of everything. Confidentially, we've got, we've got these, we've got all these guys as well. We've got the, oh, okay, so, so I think we're done. Once we've had a look at this place, we should be done. Okay, so let's have a look at what's going on in here. I was, I believe we were here before. Yes, we were here before. So we've checked everything out on the server. Um, almost complete, minus a few of the smaller outposts. There's a few things I'm going to have a talk with, a few of the community members, of course, because they've broken a few of the rules, such as the double bubble that you see here. But let me know in the comment section below, which is your favourite base? And if you're on this server, what would you build? Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.